Call him. Great, Chris. Delvin, I know you want your guys yeah. to feel rewarded when they accomplish something. You mm -hmm. win an outright conference title. I know there are huge goals for this yeah. program. How do you want your players to feel about what they accomplished? Awesome. I, I, they should feel it. I mean, it's. Uh, we just played um, our fourth game in ten days. Um, it's been a long season. I mean, it really is. Uh, um, you know, we've been going through this league for nine years, and um, you know, every, everywhere we go, it's a packed house. I was really, really proud of uh, uh, Coach Schwartz and East Carolina tonight. Um, you know, they 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 came out, and that's uh, obviously the best crowd we've ever seen here. But they were good. I mean, they were they ran to it. Uh, they wouldn't let their kids die. Uh, Michael's going to coach him up. He's going to do a great job here. Uh, when I saw that they had uh, hired him, of course, I was a Joe Dooley fan too. But when I saw that they hired uh, Michael, I said, good for them. It's a great hire. He's a good coach, good man. His kids are going to play hard. Um, he'll do well. But proud of my guys. I mean, we played 10 road games this year at Oregon, at Virginia, all over this league. We're 10-0. You know, it's hard to... It's hard to be undefeated on the road. It's hard to win on the road. And for us to be 10-0 uh, uh, and with this bunch, especially when you consider we lost four starters from last year's team. A um, bunch of freshmen. Um, but you know, our kids uh, think this is our, what is our fourth championship in five years or something like that. So we've, we've, been, we've been at this a long time. Uh, our um, our kids know how to win. I say that a lot, but you know, um, you know, we've we've uh, figured out how to play our system, be unselfish. Um, so happy for our uh, kids uh, to be rewarded with uh, winning a conference championship. That's not that's not easy to do. Coach, on the topic of kind of being able to establish like your, your kids know how to. Win is a part of the identity. One of the other things that goes along with Houston culture is the defense. What did you guys, or what did you personally think about the team's defense, especially in the first half? Where I know you guys got into the foul trouble with East Carolina, really struggling to score points. Yeah, I mean, I'm not into breaking that down. I mean, win the conference championship, man. You know, um, our defense was good at times, and at times East Carolina's offense was good. You know, they, they did a good job offensively in the second half. Um, we couldn't keep them off the free throw line. <clears throat> Obviously, we don't know whether we're on foot or horsepack playing a zone. We don't even know how to play a zone. I put them in zone, and I said, well, God, you, can, you guys, all you can do is foul them. I said, well, shit, we can foul them in the zone. So just go zone. At least they'll pass it three times before we foul them. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, i um, not going to over-evaluate that. We played 29 games. We're 27 and two. You know, um, we need some rest. You know, it's been a tough stretch for us. You know, we we played at SMU. Uh, came home, played Memphis. Um, Tulane at East Carolina, all in 10 days. So, um, you know, a lot of things tonight we didn't do very good. A lot of things we did good. But I'm not going to sit here and analyze it. Definitely, go ahead. Coach, that moment when Marcus went down, uh, it seemed like everybody else on the team responded really well. How proud are you of how well they responded when Marcus went down? Yeah, uh, well, I, clearly our best player tonight, I haven't really looked at the uh, stats. Our best player tonight was uh, Tremont Mark. Um, nine defensive boards, <clears throat> 20 points, three assists, no turnovers. Um, you know, we're plus 20 on the boards. Um, yeah, I just never felt like we uh, got in a groove where we made shots. You know, Walker, I don't know how many wide open looks he got. He just couldn't make a shot tonight. Um, but that's going to that's gonna happen sometime. Um, but, uh, um, we, you know, we play well kind of in spurts. Play good and we, you know, um, we, didn't, we didn't have very good lineups. Uh, Shed needs to be on the floor for us to play at a high level, you know. But sometimes it's good. Like uh, Cheney's our best, probably our best defensive post. I didn't even play him in the second half just because the other kid needs to, he needs reps, the freshman. 
uh, Francis. He's 19 years old. You know, he, he just needs reps. Um, uh, um, Emmanuel Sharp, freshman. Um, Arsenal, freshman. Walker, freshman. We had four freshmen out there a lot together in the second half. But that's good for them. You know, we're not trying to win style points or impress anybody. You know, a month from now, nobody's going to remember this game. You know, it's, it's uh, for, for us, you know, we've got two games left. We've got uh, Wichita State at home on, um, um, what night is that? Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. Then we go to Memphis, and then we get ready for a conference tournament, and then we'll get ready for the NCAA tournament. That's kind of what our focus is right now. Very good. We had to talk to a lot of people who have known you almost all your life tonight. Oh God. Um, they're, they're, the pride they take in you. Yeah. Um, the, the deep affection they have yeah. for you for the way that you've never forgotten them. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly people from the Lumbee community. Mm -hmm. What what is their devotion to you and, and the role that they play in your life? What what does that mean to you? And I know that's a that's a huge question. Yeah, I, I don't get to go back to Pembroke very often. Um, you know, my wife and I. Uh, both graduated from Pembroke Senior High School. She's on the Board of Trustees at UNC Pembroke. Um, and yes, I married up. Married someone way smarter than me. Uh, but, um, you know, we left there and I graduated from, um, uh, when I graduated, it was Pembroke State. And then uh, I went and finished my master's degree and worked on my PhD at uh, Michigan State University. And then from there, we just kind of um, just found our way around the country and the world, you know. Pembroke, East Lansing, Michigan, uh, Butte, Montana, Pullman, Washington, Norman, Oklahoma, Bloomington, Indiana. Um, we're at next, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Houston, Texas. And this, this will be my last stop. I don't, I don't know how much longer I have left, but uh, it's been a blessing. And, um, uh, my, my heroes have always been my mom and dad. My dad was inducted to the North Carolina High School Coaches Hall of Fame in Chapel Hill in the uh, early 2000s. Um, my mom was an RN, she's the Director of Health Services at the university. Um, so having great parents for all of us, and I know you guys that have great parents know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not special or unique in this, in this way, but um, Growing up in a community like Pembroke, you're kind of raised by everybody. Um, I, don't, I don't know everybody like I used to. Um, of course, I, I haven't lived there since 1978. But um, I've, always, I've always taken pride in being from there. I've always taken pride in, in graduating from UNC Pembroke. I mean, that, it was a, it's a great school. But it's also a testament that you, it doesn't matter where you go to school. You can be whatever you want to be. It's up to you. you. You choose that. Schools don't graduate. You graduate. You know, it's like our kids that come to University of Houston. We have a great school. But I tell kids in recruiting, choose a coaching staff. Don't choose a school. You know, uh, but when you're a student and you're going to a college, Pem UNC Pembroke has served such a great uh, role in a lot of people's lives. Because a lot of people don't have the money uh, to go anywhere but a school like a Pembroke, you know, had, um, um, I have two sisters that graduated from Chapel Hill. Um, one was a pharmacist and the other one was a physical therapist. Then I had a sister that, uh, was an elementary school teacher in Cary. So our roots in North Carolina are, are strong. Um, but, um, been a Lumbee, uh, my whole life. I'm proud of it. Anybody else have any more questions? We good? All right. Okay, thank you very much.